All right, in this video, uh, we're gonna talk my Death Watch Crusade Force. <laughs> Plan is to start playing some narrative play. And so this is approximately 47 power of Death Watch so that I can spend three power to upgrade my kill teams and stay with the 50 power limit that you start narrative play with. Uh, disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I don't know if any of these choices are good ones, um, but I am having a good time um, not knowing what I'm doing. All right, so they are in various uh, stages of completion from uh, built and not painted to, uh, you know, primed and some fairly few things started to painted but not based and then to painted and based and... Um, someday I'll probably have it all finished, but right now I'm kind of tired of painting Space Marine, so I'm gonna take a break and uh, I'm just gonna probably play these guys as they are and paint some other stuff for a while. All right, so let's kind of walk through what's going on here. Uh, here are my characters, uh, both HQs. So I got Primaris Lieutenant in a Reaver armor. Uh, he is going to be my warlord for um most games probably anything at uh incursion size i'll use him as a warlord if i play combat control i might use him as a warlord but uh, i'm going to spend a requisition to give uh, him a warlord trait he is going to get um paragon of their chapter which is a death watch trait that means he can get one of the chapter warlord traits out of the main space marine codex and um, he is a Nova Marine, so I will play nice with the rules um, and make him give him Adept of the Codex from the Ultramarine chapter. Uh, whenever I spend a command point, I roll a die, and on a 5+, plus, uh, that command point is refunded. And I've had a lot of fun with that in, uh, in the games that I have played. Um, and so that is going to be that. I may spend a requisition point to give him the Purgatus pistol from the core book. Um, I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, we'll figure that out. All right. And then, uh, Primaris loot, uh, Primaris librarian. And he is going to pull his psychic powers from the Xenopurge discipline. And we will take pre-morphic resonance and fortified with contempt, uh, to be buffing other guys. And then if he's by himself, uh, fortifying himself with contempt. And um, I've had a lot of success with those uh, psychic powers. All right, so that is the HQs. All right, I'm gonna take, um, I decided instead of a second lieutenant, I'm gonna take a squad of Primaris Reavers in my elite slot. And uh, these guys, they all have um, combat knives and bolt pistols. And then the sergeant also has the um, uh, bolt carbine. Uh, he does have a bolt pistol and combat knife there in the back. Uh, they all also have grappling hooks and uh, grav fence, just because I wanted them to have most of the stuff. Um, I probably, depending on the game, I may uh, deep strike these guys, I don't know. And um, I may spend a requisition point to give him um, special issue ammunition, um, but I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> I, there's a couple of requisition points that I haven't decided what it is that I'm going to uh, do quite yet. Uh, but these guys are uh, coming in in my elite slot. And I decided on these guys instead of Lieutenant because um, they got 10 wounds all together, which is great. And um, since these guys are Primaris, I can use the um, Transhuman Physiology stratagem so that they can only be, wo they wound rolls of one through three automatically fail. And it's just, it's great for like keeping um, dudes alive. And um, these guys can also use shot grenades, which I've had some success before. So we're gonna be doing that. Okay, so for troops, I have um, two Proteus kill teams. Uh, and then I got a bunch of leftover dudes for, as a pool to pull from, because there is a, a death watch uh, for one requisition point. I can re-equip everybody, so um, a lot of them are magnetized. Not all of them, but a lot of them are magnetized, so I can switch the weapons around and also switch out the optional models. And so I have some extra optional models uh, back here. So the individual kill team. Okay. So these guys, uh, I got my sergeant, and uh, he has a uh, Xenophage blade 
a combat shield, and then right now I have them with a storm bolter, but again, it's magnetized. And I am gonna spend a requisition point to uh, give him special emu, uh, special issue ammunition on this storm bolter, okay? And then for the the four veterans that have to be in there, uh, I have a guy with the Mitchell launcher, I have the uh, heavy and furnace bolter, I have a frag cannon, and I have a uh, heavy bolter. So this is my uh, kind of long range shooty guys. I'm actually gonna combat squad this one. So these guys are gonna be together and they're gonna be shooty. And then I've had a lot of fun running um, a uh, the other half of this with uh, three bikers. And right now I have them uh, power sword, power maul, power axe, but again, these are magnetized so I could change those around maybe. And um, two Vanguard veterans um, because, so th these guys have 14 inch and these guys have 12 inch. Uh, so they, they get around fairly far. I can move them 12 inches and I can play games because these guys have a little bit longer inches. And, um, but because Toughness four, toughness four, toughness five, toughness five, toughness five. The whole unit has toughness five, but I can give the wounds to the Vanguard vets with the uh, storm shields. So I can move them 12. I can shoot with a bunch of um, uh, the twin bolters. And because they're bikers, they always get the rapid fire. And then I can charge in and uh, do a bunch of melee stuff. And then I can use stratagems to fall back and shoot and fall back and uh, charge if I wanted to. And because they are a kill team and they're a troop, they have obsec, which is great. And because these guys are in here, it counts as the infantry so they can like go through ruins and stuff and actually get cover and not have to go around. So it's just, it's a lot of fun. So I've had a lot of success zooming these guys around, taking objectives, um, that kind of stuff. And so this is one kill team. I'm gonna combat squad them. And then when they get experience, um, these guys are probably gonna be um, an Aquila kill team so that I can choose an extra bonus uh, depending who I'm playing and how I wanna kinda wanna split them up. So this is kill team uh, number one. Um, alternate loadouts, I could see myself um, changing some of these guys. I do have a guy with a heavy flamer. Forgot to put him in the pile. And then, um, Starker Pattern Bolt Gun uh, could also possibly uh, go in there. So, all right. <clears throat> okay, here is my other Proteus kill team. All right, so I have uh, Sergeant uh, Xenophage Blade. He has a multi melta, and that's not magnetized. That's why he has multi melta and uh, combat shield. And this, uh, this is a more, I guess, traditional kill team. Again, I don't really know what I'm doing, but anyway. So the other four guys, um, I put a, a shotgun guy in here, cause just because of the, the versatility of uh, the different types of ammo. And then I have three Death Watch veterans with uh, power swords. And then I got two combi grabs and a combi uh, grab pistol. Um, I do have another combi grab on a sprue. Um, I could replace that, but I kind of want these guys to be both like long range, mid range and melee viable, kind of like my uh, super versatile team. So I'm kind of trying to go for a little bit of a spread. Although I'm giving them power swords because I play against Tau and Death Guard. And um, these are my crisis suit killing kill team. Um, so the power swords help both with Plague Marines and against crisis suits. All right, so that's those guys. For the optional models, I got a black shield. I gave him a power fist and a lightning claw because I thought it would look cool, but um, they are both uh, magnetized. So if I want to put like regular arms on them later, I can do that. Um, but I wanted him to have two melee weapons because that's where they get their bonus. Um, I have a, an actual black shield guy um, from when I built these guys for kill team. And at the time the rule for black shields was different. And so I wanted to give him a shield because he was black shield, but things are different now. And there's no way I was gonna be able to cut that shield arm off like easily. So we just uh, did this and gave him a gave him a black shield. All right, and then um, I have one biker and one Vanguard guard veteran to be able to access those stratagems. And also again, to you know get some extra firepower and uh, melt a bombs. Uh, I hate uh, play crawlers. And I've decided on two Terminators with the Storm Shields. 
uh, so that to dump wounds on these guys. And I had two so that when one dies, I can still use the teleport homer and have another guy to um, dump wounds on. Uh, for kind of the alternate models for these guys, um, you know, I could bring in uh, another shotgunner. I have um, a guy with a combi plaz and a power sword. I have you know, another storm shield guy. Um, I could make him a black shield with a reposition point. Uh, I got a heavy thunder hammer. So, you know, there you go. Uh, the only other optional guy I, I do, I have, I had a box of Vanguard veterans, so I got some more of those guys. All right, so that is my Crusade Force. I'm really excited about playing some Crusade. Um, it looks really fun. Uh, after I play some games, I'll come back and talk about it and tell you if it actually was really fun. And then I think I'm probably done with um, Death Watch for a while. Um, I really enjoyed the whole process. I like them, but there's just a lot of aspects about collecting them that uh, stresses me out, like uh, buying upgrade sprues and um, either trying to find single models on eBay or you know buying a box and all using like one or two or three models that kind of stinks. Um, you know, wanting to have cool chapter pads um, that you know can be a little stressful. So I think I'm just gonna play Crusade with these guys for a while and then start a new army sometime. All right, uh, I hope that that was enjoyable and um, I'll let you know how the Crusade goes um, once we get into it a little bit. All right, have a good one.